Hello there and welcome to Let's Animate. My name is Etadeo and today I'm going to share to you how we create a glow effects on Krita version 4.48 or higher. If you have version 5, you can also use this. So, I created an animation. This is just a simple animation where um, there's a glow or something or a flare, flare of power actually so i created this uh, simple animation on a separate layer we have the background and the animation so let's rename this as animation All right All right this is the background okay so the the um, the layer of our effects or the the uh, the flare effects will be on screen so usually we have normal layer paint layer so we will set it into screen so it will behave as a uh, a glowing element all right so you can use this for your character if your character has a superpower or something similar all right so we created that animation on the same layer so we need to create the glow effect for each frame so uh, each frame should have glow effect there are two methods of uh, creating glow effects one is the um, somehow um, difficult but you can you can use this so we will just duplicate this layer here. We will duplicate it by uh, using our shortcut on the keyboard, just Control J, and it will copy that layer. Same layer with all the same um, keyframes, all right? After creating that layer, we need to group this. So it's important to group this, all right? by right clicking your animation right clicking or or maybe uh, use a shortcut key uh, using control g right you can group that and then after grouping it this is very important if you group your uh, layer so it will only affect only that layer all right, I'll show you later how how, it's, how how it will affect our filter layer. Let's create a filter layer by going down here, create a filter layer, and then go to blur, go to blur. If, it, if it's not collapsed like this, you just click this. So you need to go to blur, or you can use other, uh, other blur but it's in, it is uh, effective if you use blur. So we need to uh, turn up our blur, right? Uh, maybe to 35 is okay. Oh, let's see now if our blur is working. So let's click okay, go to our uh, keyframes, see? The blur is working, right? So let's use press uh, just press f3 if you want to edit your blur uh your filter layer right f3 or maybe you can right click and uh, let's do that again let's right click and then go to properties or f3 that's my shortcut f3 so you can see there's a glow effect now so you can turn it up or turn it down and then uh, turn up the strength if you want to, maybe 20. All right, let's see if it's working. Uh, it doesn't uh, affect much, but zero is, off, is fine. So you can use the other um, options here, like shapes, if it's a rectangle um, behavior or circle. I, I suggest if you use circle, then click OK. Then you have, you can rename this into glow if you want to, but so far we have that. Um, the other uh, technique you, you're going to use, let's just turn that off, is by 
um, right clicking and then layer style right click your your layer and then go to layer style of your original uh, animation all right so you'll use only the glow effect here let's see go here go to the ultra glow all right ultra glow and then uh, turn up the opacity right you can change the color of your glow right you can change that by clicking that and then use another uh, effects color see you can use a green maybe turn it up a little there you go and then the spread you can spread it out like so all right turn it up like this Maybe turn it up like this. The setup is your um, decision whether you like it uh, too much glowy like that. The spread is uh, this is much more effective than the other one because your the the other um, style or uh, um, technique we're using uh, it's just using the same um, layer behavior, right? And then after you're done with it, then click OK. Then you have an effects option here, all right? You see that? So when you play your animation, all of your layer will be, will have same um, glow. Let's, let's, seems to be it's not, the other glow is not yet cached needs to be cached so every every keyframe will have it all right so either way you can use both um, the layer style or the effect style all right the layer style is limited so but you can adjust the filter layer uh, whenever you want to just press F3 uh, turn up the the, um, the glow maybe 55 all right so it's it's um, it's limited but it's working so you can turn maybe turn up turn up the um, the strength all right so there it is so you can use that to create your glow effects in animation so I'd, I'd rather use this and then you can render your animation um, in MPEG format or MP4 format so you can export this uh, with a PNG image sequence or something like that so that's it for our tutorial and thank you for joining me please uh, comment something uh, below just just if, if anything um, in your mind uh, tell me what you think of the animation okay see you later